In the previous video, we have installed new Laravel project and make database configuration as well. In this video, we are going to set up our application layout from the template. The first thing we're gonna do is open the template we have. You can download it in the course resort. Okay, let's copy CSS, font, JavaScript, and images from the template to the public directory in our Laravel project. After that, let's go back to our browser, and in this template, just right-click and view search code to see the HTML code. Select all code and copy. Go to editor, and then in resources views directory, let's create new directory called blog. Below that, let's create new file and save as index.blade.php. In this file, let's paste the code we just copied. We cannot access this file from the browser directly, so we have to define a route in routes.php file. Here we have default route which return welcome file. This file is a Laravel welcome page. Let's change this route to return index file located in blog directory. Then let's go back to our browser and refresh. Now our application has changes. It's almost done. Except the image does not show up. Back to our editor. Jump to index.php file, and for all files, references, CSS, JavaScript, and images, we can put it in asset helper function like this, so it would return full URL. Let's test. Right-click, view page search. As you can see here, for example, this CSS file references displayed in full URL. You can do the same way for other files references. We can also use royalty path, and I think this is the easiest way. We just append a forward slash in all files references. Let's also add to all images reference. Back to our browser and refresh. Now our images are show up. The next thing we have to do is provide a new page to show the blog post. So let's go to our editor. And below this blog directory, let's create new file. Save as show.blade.php or you can name it you preferred. If you take a look at this page, all parts is the same with index page, except the left side. The easiest way is copy all code from index.blade.php file and make changes to the left side. But I think this is a bad idea, because when we change, for example, the navbar or right side in one file, we have to make change in other file. So I think the best way is creating an application layout that we can reuse by other view files. So all view files has same design. Moreover, when we make change to a layout, it would apply to all view files. Here I'm going to create a new directory to put all layouts, let's say layouts for example. Then I create new file main blade PSP, and of course you can name it whatever you prefer. Next, we'll move some common part in index blade PSP file to our layout. This header would show in all pages, so we have to move it. I think we left this container in this file. We also have to move the sidebar. And the footer also has to show in all pages, and we have to move it as well. A scroll up, select to the header closing tag, and cut, and paste it in our layout. 
back to index.php file and we also move the footer in our layout. Then we call yield blade function and paste a parameter which is the section name that would be replaced by a section that defined in child layout. It's commonly named as content but you can change it whatever you like. Okay, we have application layout and we can extend this layout to other view files. Let's go back to index blade PHP file. Here let's extend from parent layout by calling blade extends function followed by layout name which is layout.main. After that Let's put the div which has container class in the section content. I've called yield content in the layout. This means the section content in this child layout would be rendered in the parent layout. Let's see in our browser to make sure our application still work. Okay. Before we copy this code into show blade PSP file, let's move the sidebar into partial. Why? Because this part would be used to all child layout. Just cut this part. And let's call blade include function followed by the path of the file that will be included. For example, layouts.sidebar. Below layouts directory, Let's create new file, save as sidebar.blade.psp and paste the code here. Let's see if our application still work. Okay, great. Next, let's copy all content of index blade PSP file to show blade PSP file. We'll make change to the left side, which is a diff that has call md8 class with blog post. Let's go back to our template, right click and inspect element, choose a diff which has call md8 class, right click again, copy, then copy all selected HTML element. Back to editor and get rid of these lines and paste. Then let's make a little change to the image file references. We also need to define a new route to show the blog post. Just copy the existing route. Let's change the URI, for example, blog show. And for this route, let's return a view file show bladespsb in blog directory. Let's test. Enter the URI blog show, and there we go, the blog post now show up. So far our layout is still work perfectly, but as I mentioned before, we'll build our application in two paces. For the first pace, we'll focus on the main feature of our blog application. We'll add additional feature in the second pace. So let's hide the search form for now. Tag widget and command as well. So let's go back to our editor and open sidebar blade PHP file. Command the search format. Also the tag widget. Then let's open the show blade PSP file and let's cut the command section. Create new file, 
save as commands blade PSP and paste here. Let's see. Okay, I think our application layout is good. In the next video, we'll change the static content with real data from database. And here I'll save all file changes to the git repository.